vehicles have speedometers with the help of which we can measure speed. But the speed has been also measured for other things like rockets that launch satellites in the orbit of the earth gain about 8 kilometers per second speed, while in the case of a snail it is only 8 centimeters, 8 kilometers per second imagine and there it is only 8 centimeters. So, from here only you can understand that what is fast and what is slow and how the speed has been measured. In the case of Falcon, it is 320 kilometers per hour. Cheetah is considered to be the fastest terrestrial animal, 112 kilometers per hour. Blue fish, 40 to 46. Rabbit, it moves very fast, 56 kilometers per hour. Squirrel, 19. Domestic mouse, 11. Human beings, 40. Giant tortoise only 0.27 and a snail 0.05. So, from here you can understand the relative speed of all these things. Now, one way is that we just make a table like this and express how a certain vehicle moved. Another method is by making a graph. Have you ever used graph paper for your arithmetic? Here also we can use the graph paper. For making a graph, there are three types of graphs. Simple line graph, which can be a straight line or it can have various shapes. Second is bar graph. which is in the form of bars like you know they show in KBC Kaun Banega Kurodpati when audience poll is going on the bar graph is expressed through that we express or Amitabh Bachchan expresses that how much percentage of audience is opting for a particular option in the four out of the four options. So, that is the bar graph. Another way of showing percentage is by pie graph. If you see the newspapers and whenever there is a survey, you find a pie graph is given. Even when there is a diagram to show the composition of air, it is through the pie, pie diagram because then we express how much percentage is oxygen say 21 percent and nitrogen is 78 percent and 1 percent is others, other gases. So, this is the pie graph. A graph paper has small squares on it. When we want to make a graph, what we do is we make one horizontal line which is called x o x and one vertical line which is y o y right. Now, one value is expressed on y axis and another is expressed on x axis. Horizontal line is called x axis and vertical is called y axis. Now, for example, if you want to express the pattern of weight gain during the lifetime of a human being, you can take age in years on y axis and weight in kilograms on the x axis. So, starting from 0 and then how much is there after say 1 year and then so on, you will find there is a certain dots you will start making, taking from here years and then how much weight is there and you will have somewhat like this. First it is increasing, initially the increase is very steep, then it is less steep and after 
certain age it stops so it becomes flat in fact it can even come down this is what is line graph and through this we can come to know how much weight was there at a particular age but for this what did we do we took certain scale and that scale was say it could be one year is equal to one centimeter and say 10 kilograms or one kilogram as also one centimeter so accordingly we kept making the points similarly you can make a graph for speed in this case you can take 1 kilometer as 1 second as 1 centimeter and then 1 hour as also 1 centimeter and depending upon how much distance the particular vehicle covered you can make a graph and it could also be a straight line like this if the speed has been increasing so like this we can find out what has been how the speed has been moving now sometimes the distance covered is very high for example say you went for a picnic or you went from one city to another and the distance covered was say 200 kilometers now if you want to express one kilometer in one centimeter then there have to be 200 boxes which may not be possible on a simple graph paper which is just say the size of a notebook or a register so scale you can decide on your own depending upon certain factors and these factors are the total difference between the highest and the lowest value right and then what is the intermediary value of the two extremes the scale should be such that they cover maximum part of the paper just as the scale cannot be so small that it needs lot of paper it should also not be so small that it covers only a very small portion of the paper and then the graph would be very small and we will not be able to really see it properly and also find out at what time what was the speed so whenever you are deciding say for if the distance covered was 200 kilometers then probably it would be wiser to take 10 kilometer as equal to 1 centimeter but if you were taking only the distance between your home and school which is say 15 kilometers or 10 kilometers then even 1 kilometer can be taken as 1 centimeter similarly for age and weight so it all depends upon what is the data given and how you are going to utilize your graph paper to express actually expressing through graph is much better than making a table because through with this method we can get to know much more details and with better precision so that is why usually these things are expressed through graph